All right, it's uh, just before 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm heading out. Seatbelt first. Down and Time to play with some play. sunny day good day for travel hopefully trail back in the uh, early 1800s or mid 1800s it could be dangerous living on driving on the Bozeman trail because of the uh, black beat they uh, didn't like the white men encroaching on their lands I just remembered about uh, five miles away from home that I left a check made out to the foundry to help to get the uh, bronze started casting or the, the bronze casting process started on the uh, clay that I'm taking over to him and uh, so I've got to head back home and get that check aggravating but I'm leaving early enough in the morning that I think I'll be fine call me forgetful Back on the road. Ah, this is the first test of the trip. My uh, first uh, mountain pass I've got to go over. This is called Norris Pass. It's uh, about 16 miles north of uh, Ennis. This used to be a two-lane road, and it was horrible. I mean, it was really dangerous in the winter time. And uh, about 20 years ago or so. They uh, put this uh, really good road in and straightened out the road. It was a real windy road. It would get drifted over in this winter time. It was just terrible. It's halfway decent now. It's always bad on this stretch no matter how much sun is out because if there's a south wind or a wind at all it drifts the snow right across the road and after a while everybody passing over the road it uh, gets real icy. I've driven on worse roads than this so I'll handle it. hillside you can see where the uh, there's a old uh, road over there it's not the ro uh, modern day road it's a the old stagecoach route over these mountains you can barely see it okay this is the first little township that we come into it's called Norris it's 
famous for their hot springs over here. And this is where I turn east towards Bozeman. continued north I'd go get to the Three Forks which is where uh, Lewis and Clark expedition came through back in 18 well the early 1800s I don't know exactly what date maybe 1808 or something around there now we're on the Bozeman Trail again there is a old lady that lived in the town when I first moved here back in uh, the late 80s and she told me that they used to go to Bozeman on their buckboard and it took them two days to get there it only takes about 45 minutes now times were different back then in this little valley here it was a whole town here at one time Back in the 1860s, uh, when they were panning gold out here, getting gold during the gold rush, and uh, there ain't a, there ain't nothing left of it, but a couple of buildings, and one of those buildings completely burned down about 10 years ago. I saw a moose and her baby moose down in that creek right here the river in here a long time ago and uh, an artist friend of mine was driving this way and a mountain lion came down and crossed right across the road in front of him going down to the river to get a drink this is the prettiest part of the whole place right here beautiful good so far. Knock wood. beautiful with the sun shining on parts of it. There's the Madison River. It was right here that there was a sign that talked about people being here for 30,000 years or back 30,000 years and just to the left of this bridge there was an old toll bridge and you can see the pilings out there in the river that's the pilings for the old uh, bridge that used to cross the river right here and that's the toll bridge that they would charge people uh, to cross the river wagon trains and stage coaches and freight wagons and all kinds of stuff to the right of the road is uh, Ted Turner's ranch. He raises buffalo. Now, if you don't know who Ted Turner is, that's the guy that started CNN television channel or cable channel. He was married to Jane Fonda at one time. This is where it usually does get really icy because of the drifting snow. It's a long stretch and there's not much that stops the snow from blowing across the road. So it, it's a. Uh, Boy, I just ran through a real rough patch there. That scared the crap out of me. You can't panic and you can't make sudden moves or jerks on your steering wheel. You just gotta 
go hard and steady. And uh, just as I got to the patch, a big snow plow was passing the opposite direction. That's always fun. You might end up in the plow. <laughs> Alright, I'm That's coming good. into the Bozeman area. Into Four Corners. I'm going to be turning north towards Gallatin. Uh, no, Belgrade. That's the name of the town. That's where the airport is. And catching the freeway. It's taking me this long to get to uh, the freeway. And then it's straight on into uh, Livingston, hopefully. That uh, last stretch of road was pretty bad. But came through without sliding so let's that's finally good. I'm on the freeway heading east and up ahead you can see the uh, mountains there that's what I've got to go through is a canyon the uh, between here and Livingston and that's the part that I'm going to worry about so we'll see how the canyon turns out I hope it's like this all the way it would be great I got my doubts. We'll see. I'm just about to Bozeman now. Beautiful rock formations in this canyon. So far the roads look good. I think they have to keep the freeway really cleared so I probably am worrying about nothing but you never know. I'm really liking this road so far. Those are the Beartooth Mountains down south there. And I'm coming up to my exit now. This trip was a lot less dangerous than I thought it was going to be. The only bad stretch was between the river, the Madison River and Bozeman. All right, I gotta get off the freeway here and the foundry is right next to the uh, exit here. This is Ben and this is Dad Byron who I've known for years. 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 And there's the clay. And we're just discussing how we're gonna cut it apart and stuff like that because they have to cut it apart. The uh, legs are, have uh, copper tubing going through the, uh, or copper wire. Actually, it's bonsai wire, which is an aluminum anodized wire. So it'll be easy to, to yeah. cut. Right. And those are real sticks on the ground. Yeah, that work good. I try to lay them out in a way that uh, would make it easy to pull a mold away from it. And I didn't put too many rocks on there because I know that can be a pain in the butt cleaning. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Very nice. Yeah, are you thinking about molding the guy right on there? Yeah. Yeah, probably. We'll probably have to take his boots off and his yeah. arm off. Yeah, well those are uh, tapaderos on the... Uh, right. But like I said, all that has, uh, I think that's thin wire going through that. I think it's aluminum wire or steel wire. I can't remember which. Okay. I, I'll send a picture of the armature of the uh, figure um, when I get home. Because right. I got it on video. Yeah, do that for us. In fact, I'll send you the video. You can watch yeah, me working on it from beginning to end. YouTube. I watched a little bit of it. Oh, did you? Yeah, with the whole... Uh, Taxidermy it took me quite a while to get to the figure, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it looks like messy shit. Yeah. But I filled in around that tail as much as I can so that you don't have a lot of deep undercuts, hopefully. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. All right. Okay, Dave. This is the foundry here, and uh, I'm going to head back home. i got to turn my van around so I can't be recording.
Well, I've been forgetful today. <laughs> I had to go back because I left the battery for my camera on the table of where the clay was. So, again, I forgot something today, so twice today. And I have to back out. I think I just backed into a snowdrift. All right, camera turned off. <laughs> well, that's the uh, beautiful valley of the Madison. That's where I live. Now well, that's it for today. I'm back home safely. And uh, I love this valley, it's so beautiful. It was uh, one of the major hunting grounds of the Native Americans back in the uh, first centuries. They'd all gather here, the Flathead, the Arikara, the Blackfeet, the Nez Perce, all of them. They congregated here to hunt buffalo because buffalo roamed all over this valley at one time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.